Students often have trouble understanding conditional probability and they often get it backwards. So this video is going to help you translate from math to English or English to math. So let's take a look. What is a conditional probability? Well, we just say the probability that event A occurs if we know that event B has occurred. We write that as the probability of event A given event B, and that's equal to the probability of the intersection of those two events divided by the probability of B. Now we must be careful because the probability of A given B is not equal to the probability of B given A. For example, the probability of being pregnant given that you're a female is not equal to the probability of being female given that you're pregnant. If we know you're pregnant, there is no chance that you're not female, right? Males cannot be pregnant, so in order to be pregnant, you have to be female. However, if we know that you're female, there's a chance that you're pregnant, all right? Maybe it's around 3%. But you can see that this is 3% on the left side of the expression, and this equals 100% over on the right side. So getting those things reversed can definitely affect the interpretation, it can affect the calculation. You don't want to mess that up. So let's talk about how we can translate from English to math and math to English. So let's represent being pregnant by A. Not pregnant is not A. Female B and not female, not B. So the probability of being pregnant, probability of A, given B, given that you're female, is equal to the probability of being pregnant given you're a female. Now when we translate, we want to look for certain words in the English, right? Whatever comes after this P with the opening parenthesis, that's whatever comes after the P with the opening parenthesis. That's what we're looking for in a sentence. It will say the probability of something or how likely something is. Right? Whatever comes after this given symbol, the pipe, right? It would have the word if or given or you know that. Okay, so for example, the probability of being female, given that you're pregnant, becomes a probability of B, because you're female, right, note down here, given A, where A represents pregnant. So here I have a couple of examples for you to practice on, so you can pause the video right here, and I will pop the answers up in just a second. Okay, check your work. Hopefully you got that stuff right. Let's move on and do it the other direction. Translating from math to English. Once again, I have a couple examples for you here. You can pause the video and I will pop the answers up in a second. All right, so check your answers. Hopefully you got everything right. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.